So now we've learned to properly optimize our collections, our menu structure, we've done all of our research on keywords, we know how to optimize our images, we've done all of this great on-site work, which is going to be 80% of your SEO for you. We're now gonna turn our attention to blogging. Um, and this is a strategy that everyone just goes in and writes lots of blog articles without really thinking about it. So I'm going to explain to you how to do that and get the absolute best from SEO out of your blog article. Why are you doing this? Well, the object of the exercise is to drive traffic to your website, pure and simple. You want more people to come to your site. But not only do you want people to come to your site, you want people to buy things as well. It's all very well coming to your site having a nose around, but if they're not going to buy anything, that's not what we want. We're an e-commerce site, we sell things. So think about strategies for what you can offer people that help them. That's that's my advice. I'm not explaining that very well, but I sell lingerie, and the, the, the title of this article is The Men's Guide to Buying Valentine's Day Lingerie. And that's quite a popular article for us, and it's, it's evergreen. Year in, year out, Valentine's Day comes every year, and the more this thing is out on the internet, the more traffic it dra- drives to us each year. So the problem guys have is they go, well, what do I buy the wife? What do I buy the girlfriend on Valentine's Day? I have no idea. I'm a man. I have no idea about lingerie. So this article, if they search on the internet, what do I buy the girlfriend for Valentine's? What lingerie does my wife like? You know, those, those sort of questions. This will pop up as an answer to that. People will come and read the article, hopefully buy something from our site. So, you know, if you're, if you're selling car parts, maybe, you know, how do I change a clutch? Or what is the best lights to use on my car? Or are HID lights any good? Or what aftermarket parts are good for performance? You know, questions like that, answer them. Uh, you can also do explanatory things. So you can show people how to do something, show people how to use something. Um, you know, how, how do I fish? What's the best strategy for catching um, trout or catching carp or something? You can do videos that explain that, that are interesting to people, and they will come to your site to watch that video. So we've taken a problem people have, and we're trying to give them information now. I'm not trying to sell them anything at this point. We're trying to give them information. So taking our keyword research of what we're trying to achieve, we've also gone and done that research. We now have a load of keywords that we know are relevant to us, and we're going to sprinkle those into the article. So if you look through this article, it's got men's guide to buying Valentine's Day lingerie. So it's got Valentine's Day lingerie keyword, buying lingerie is a keyword, men's lingerie, men's buying guide, all these things are keywords that we're interested in. Same here, Valentine's Day, lingerie, looking down here, lingerie shopping is a keyword, Um, fit, lingerie fit, knicker drawer, brows briefs, clothing size, dress size, Um, all of these things are all keywords. Then we're gonna break it down into products. Know her preference, what does she like? Does she like product A, does she like product B? How much does it cost? This is what you should expect to spend on these products. Just to give you an idea, if you spend this amount, you get this product, you spend this amount, you get this product. Um, how do sizes work? Okay, so that we're now explaining to you what to do for fit. Again, there's a load of keywords stuck in here. Band size, cup size, um, band measurement, bra sizes. So they're all keywords sprinkled in there and hidden, but the article actually reads like quite an informative article. Um, We've then got internal links in it to collections. You want to link to our lingerie collection? Right there. And again, if we take a look at the link, beautiful, pretty lingerie and women's underwear. So we've taken the link, we've linked it to the collection, and we've added keywords that are relevant to that collection. So uh, when Google trawls it, it will see the link, it will see the keywords and, and associate these keywords with this link. Um, it'll also do a bit more than that and associate it with the article, but that's primarily it. So you can see here we've got bras, briefs, thongs, um, all of these things here, bikinis, mini briefs, there's a link to a particular product here, sexy bras. So we've got all of those links buried in there. Down at the bottom, we've edited the website SEO. So this is how we want Google to show it. So this is how it will naturally appear on Google. We've got our URL right, we've got our SEO uh, description right, and up here, if we check the product image, 
we've also got the correct alt, uh, alt image text there for that image. Uh, and again, you'll notice with this one, I haven't described it, I haven't said it's, you know, it's a beige lingerie set. I've said it's the ultimate guide to men's buying lingerie because that's the title of the article. And when the image is displayed and people click on the image, assuming the image is indexed, that's what I want to take them to. So now we have a great article that complements our site. Uh, people who are Googling what to buy my partner, what underwear should I buy, this sort of thing, they're going to find this article, they're going to end up on my website, they're going to read the article, and they're going to say, oh, I, you know, that's, that's relevant to me, maybe my girlfriend would like that particular one. And then guess what, there's a link to a collection there that will show them that item, and then they can go ahead and buy that item. Now, stage two of that is if your article is newsworthy, that is, Valentine's Day is coming up, you've written an article what to buy the girlfriend for Valentine's Day, it's helpful, do a press release. You can go and spend sort of 50 to $80 on companies that do press releases for you, and they make the press release. But what that will do is it will release the article onto the internet in hundreds of places, and all of those places will then have links back to your article containing the article itself, the keywords, and, and the links. So we're starting to take our content, it's getting out there on the internet real quick, real easy, we don't have to do anything for it. The other thing you can then do is reach out to other sites, so maybe bloggers or friends or you can buy space on other sites or whatever, but you can take this article, because you now have some great content, give it to someone else, ask them to publish it for you. So you've then got your article in two places, it's on your site, it's on somebody else's site, potentially hundreds of sites if you've done it as a press release. And you've got links back to your own site. So you're now starting to build links as well. And that link juice will come into the article and then it will get disseminated around your site by these other links here that are linking through to your products. So hopefully you see that if you're just blogging on your own website from day one, you're wasting your time. Firstly, you don't know what to write about, you're not writing about the right things that are keyword optimized with the right links. Secondly, Google doesn't care about your site anyway. It's not going to do anything about it. So I would do this sort of last. Blogging on your own site is great because it adds more keywords to your site, adds more links to your site, adds more content to your site, keeps your site fresh and updated. But also, so if you press release it, it'll get out on the internet, but also take that content, give it to someone else, get them to publish it, and then they will link back to you as well. So you're also link building at the same time. So effectively you're doing all this good SEO stuff from just writing good content that people want to see. If you want, you can embed YouTubes in it, you can embed how-to videos in it, um, you can do all of these things within the article that are great, they add all this rich content for you. Um, you don't have to put your own videos in, you put somebody else's video in, so if somebody else has got a video relevant to what you do, let's say you, you, know, you sell clutches for cars, and someone's got a great video on how to change clutch in a car, include their video, just embed it, and put that into your blog as well because it makes people want to read it and it, they will go to your site, read it, watch the video. And at the end of the day, that's what we're trying to do with uh, blogging. We're trying to get additional um, traffic to your site that is targeted and will want to buy your products.